What is up, Savage Fam? Welcome back to the channel. We're here with Nix S13 again, and uh, we're going pretty ham right now. I just got my brand new wiring harness that you can see over here on the dashboard or on the window, you know, cowl right here. I got my brand new wiring harness that I just finished making along with Albert's wiring harness that'll be going up at the same time because both these cars are gonna be getting dyno at the same time right now. So we're putting all the sensors in. You can see on the um, engine up here that we've already gone ahead and uh, gotten all the harness ran in between the fuel rail and everything all both about together. Um, I don't know if you guys got to see the engine last time in the video, but she's really, really pretty. So let me go ahead and uh, we're kind of in a rush today because there's like all these projects going on right now and we're back to the back door of cars. Um, so what's gonna be happening is Danny's supposed to be coming down tonight. We still have a, a couple uh, things we still need to do for fueling and for running the harness and for emptying out the car and a huge mess of stuff. But both of these cars are gonna be getting started, started today. Albert's S13 and Nick's S13, uh, both Jay-Z's. One's a 1.5 J, his is a 2 Jay-Z GTE. So let me go ahead and get all this stuff together uh, and I'll kind of walk you through some of the things that we're doing all in one and we'll go from there. So a quick little update on what's going on. He had uh, his batteries back here in the car and I mean, it's mounted down and it's here, but it's just kind of, oh, we need to kind of fix all this stuff. But anyways, his battery locations already ran in and he had it running along the frame uh, in here by the turbo up and into this huge hole that we had to cut out because it was all rusted underneath the battery tray and it was all cut out all fucked up down here it had a big old hole cut out like this and it was just open so uh this controller is already mounted uh brand new plugs are already in we need to put our, our o2 sensor in and a few other things um Caden's already gone ahead and gotten the intercooler uh fitted and, and we're decently fitted on the bottom so we're going to go ahead and start getting this side all in in uh um and then i need to fab all this stuff up real quick on this side we need to put the o2 sensor in the downpipe uh and vacuum the wastegate and besides that she's running a few relays and stuff like that and we'll be getting into it guys so it is a new morning i uh car behind me is pretty much done and ready to go now uh my phone ended up getting kind of like lost for the weekend so i wasn't able to really get you too much of an update on this because i ended up finding it or whatever so don't everybody worry the videos will still be coming um but yeah let me go ahead and show you real quick everything that's done where we're at car runs really really good we still got a few things we got to do but it's pretty much finished uh until customer comes on and brings his money and we kind of go through everything so let's get right into it so look at that Fans are in. We still need to hook up the radiator hose and bleed it or whatnot. Um, but I mean, she's done product, guys. We're gonna go ahead and fenders are on now. Everything's all ran. Fuse boxes are relocated so that, that everything in here is all nice and pretty. Um, gotta peel the tape off. But I mean, all the vacuum lines are hooked up. Down pipes in, intercooler piping's done. Uh, intercooler's mounted on top and bottom. I mean, just looking super, super good. We got the uh, shifter and the RM54. Already got the RM54 filled up um and uh ecu stuff's on the floor still we still got to go ahead and clean all that stuff up and finish mounting all that stuff and tape his shifter hole up and a few other small little things uh we're going to be empty out the emptying out the car today and uh possibly getting working on the exhaust today or tomorrow and then pretty much uh today we'll go ahead and put the hood on and uh she'll be you know ready to go so dyno is going to be next week so um just wanted to kind of go over those last few things with you guys and uh yeah so. all right so was fam it's monday uh i got to the shop right now we are going pretty ham with the two cars that are going on dyno albert's car you guys will be seeing going on dyno before nick's car but let me go ahead and show you everything we've kind of accomplished um since startup day uh this video is going to kind of be kind of jumbled only because my phone kind of wasn't uh like storing whatever was going on I, I lost a bunch of footage that i actually filmed that day so it's kind of going to be a little jumbled up but you kind of get the picture i'll try to kind of make it a little bit more smooth on the transition with everything but let me show you what's going on so front bumpers on you guys can see this thing is just a beauty she's all together um aeg fans are in there and mounted uh big old big old this is the biggest mishimoto intercooler i've ever seen in my life actually it's like the mark IV intercooler that we typically do 
um, in the trunk back here. We got everything finally out of here. Uh, relays mounted for the fuel pump. We'll be hooking all that up to the battery, zip tying some stuff down, and pretty much the car's gonna be done. Um, we did, did not do cams in this engine. This is just a, uh, I mean, you could also, sorry to kind of go again, but uh, the BTI screens went ahead and mounted right here. It fires right up. She runs really good. Obviously she ran before, so there was kind of no problem with us doing that. Um, but I mean, I'm just super, super happy with how all this stuff came out. This looks really, really nice. All righty guys, so we just arrived at Apexi USA. Uh, sorry, I didn't get to film too, too much stuff at the shop, uh, but we're here, we got here. We had a few issues. Wheels were loose on the car. Got here, car started misfiring. We ended up changing the coil packs and the spark plug wires, uh, the igniter as well, just to make sure we could have a smooth day. Um, and uh, it's on dyno right now. She's running, running pretty good. We're gonna start setting differential ratio right now and then uh, go ahead and start doing pulls on 91 and then we'll get on the flex tune on the E85. Well, you guys, we're all locked in. So we're gonna go ahead and start doing pulls right now. Another problem on dyno, we're uh, first pull, we're only making 250, and it's because we're only getting six PSI uh, out of the wastegate. Now, this is a 14 pound spring wastegate from Turbo Smart. Uh, we should be seeing somewhere around 10 or 12, you know, uh, like worst case. So, um, no big deal, but we're gonna have to go ahead and pull this intake pipe off right now and then boost test it. And more than likely, the whole problem is gonna be this China, you know, China fake HKS that's on here. Uh, with this China part number, it's probably leaking out of this thing, uh, and that's gonna be our problem, so, I don't know. So we went ahead and boost tested everything right now, and uh, we had a major leak coming out the hose clamps, and uh, the blow off out stuff, we went ahead and sealed that in there, tightened it back down, and we got, we got pretty much almost no leakage now on that, so it looked okay. Um, now we got from six pounds to 12 pounds, so that's where we wanted to be anyways. We don't really get typically, I mean, so the only other thing we're having problems with is these hose clamps are just horrible. Um, and uh, you know, obviously on all the new piping that we've done, we've already gone ahead and, you know, ran new updated stuff. It was, it was my opinion, you know, I don't really like all this, how this is all set up. I would have changed it to a new piping setup on this side, but we're trying to save, save the customer some money. So maybe later, you know, we can go ahead and change some of the some of the stuff around later on. But for now, let's just see how it holds up. We're at 12 PSI right now. You know, I don't see those holding too, too, too much more. So um, we'll put it on the 85 here pretty soon. Probably do one more pull on uh, 91. Let me fix the problem with the coil packs and, you know, all the other boost leak stuff. And, you know, so let's get it. So we're uh, pumping out the little bit that's left of the 91 that was in here this nasty yellow stuff or whatever we went ahead and put these uh five gallons in to get the car done and they got to hook to the regulator right now pumping everything out and then we'll be going ahead and putting in our e85 
drivability. We're about to do a pull up on the E. Alrighty guys, so this is going to be our last pull. I'm pretty sure we're going to be going about from uh, 17 and a half to 19. Should break the 500 horsepower barrier and we'll be calling it a day. Because he's going to kill himself in this thing. Dude, look at the tires on this thing. They're like, like, like this on freaking four lugs still with like stock brakes. Um, no, 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 no. guys so another late night at the shop uh nick's car is done on dyno we gotta wait for it to be dark so you guys can get all the full uh you know exposure of that two-step right now so we're gonna go ahead and warm the car up right now danny's here we got a few other cars we gotta start and a few things we gotta do tonight so uh we're gonna go ahead and get through this we can get the video up for you guys so uh let's get the two-step done and enjoy all righty guys so this is gonna go ahead and conclude the video on nick's s13 car came out really really good i think the customer's gonna be super super stoked we definitely overachieved the expectation um we only were going to be going for about 500 but it just went ahead and went that extra you know extra mile like it normally does with everything um so yeah guys if you guys have any questions or concerns or anything you guys want to know about the bill go ahead and hit me up feel free to hit me up through instagram uh i do respond to my youtube messages for the most part too if we're not super busy so uh stay up with the videos guys there's gonna be some good content coming up uh right after this we got the two 1.5 jay-z's that have got the built heads and pretty set up to make some good good jam on them um, pretty excited. Two more downs after this video coming up. So until next time, guys, peace.